Hello, my name is Brano Vaisagicha. I'm a second year uh, PhD student in the Department of Chemistry, Chungunam National University, under the supervision of Professor Jobim Lee. Uh, my presentation title is Surface Activated Nickel Iron Oxide Nanosheet for Enhanced Oxygen Evolution Reaction. So in this experiment, we are going to investigate the synergetic effect between nickel, um, between uh, surface and the uh, bulk incorporated nanosheet for oxygen evolution reaction catalysis uh, in alkaline uh, conditions. So uh, in this experiment, we followed uh, two synthesis steps. The first one is incorporation of bulk iron. Second one is incorporation of surface iron. So for bulk iron incorporation, we used cathodic deposition. For surface iron incorporation, we used CV anodic uh, deposition. So after the synthesis, we try to characterize the material both physically and electrochemically. So the first characterization is using SCM, TM, and the AFM. As you can observe from the, uh, the image, uh, an interconnected nanosheet structures are grown on surface of nickel foam. So the material is very thin and ultra thin nanosheet structure is grown. So the thickness is also confirmed using uh, AFM. Uh, we have we were able to produce uh, thin around 5.4 nanometer uh, thickness nanosheet. We try to also uh, confirm the composition of the material using EDS. So the material is uniformly uh, uh, deposited across uh, the surface of the nanomaterial. The other characterization is using XRD and XPS. So from the XRD diffraction peaks only corresponding to metallic uh, nickel showing the, ma the material is uh, amorphous in nature. So we confirm the material is amorphous. The other one is the XPS. So the XPS also confirms that uh, the peaks corresponding to nickel and iron and oxygen uh, shows that the successful incorporation of each element within the nanosheet. So we also try to characterize the material using uh, electrochemical uh, methods. So the first characterization method is using cyclic voltamo uh, uh, grams. So the first <coughs> one is uh, bulk iron incorporated and second one is bulk and the surface iron incorporated. So we observe pre-catalytic uh, oxidation reduction peaks uh, in both conditions. So this pre-catalytic uh, redox couples are observed in the potential ranges of 1.2 to 1.6 volt versus uh, reference hydrogen electrode. They corresponding to the oxidation reduction of nickel in nickel hydroxide to nickel oxy hydroxide. The other electrochemical characterization parameters uh, investigated are Tefli slope, electrochemical surface area, and then over potential at uh, 50 milliampere per centimeter square. The first one is electrochemical surface area, and the second one is the Tefli uh, slope of uh, the material. So the incorporation of both surface and the bulk iron leads to the low Tefli slope and the enhanced oxygen, um, I mean, electrochemical surface area of uh, the material. This one compares the um, over potential at 50 million per, per centimeter square. So compared to bulk or surface only iron, the incorporation of both form of iron leads to significant decrease in the over potential of uh, the material. The other parameter that we characterized is the impedance and the stability of the material. So uh, uh, the first one is uh, electrochemical uh, impedance. So minimal incorporation of bulk iron coupled with the presence of surface iron has contributed to the lowest charge transport resistance compared to those without uh, surface iron. So compared to this one, uh, the red one, that means which contains bulk and surface iron has the lowest resistance. Uh, the other one is the stability of the material. So we try to run the uh, electrode material uh, for 100 hours. So uh, as you can observe from the, the graph, the material has almost constant activity uh, without deviating from the original. So this indicated that the catalyst has a good stability. So conclusion, iron dopant of up to 25% in the bulk uh, nickel iron electrode material in the presence of surface iron has demonstrated the highest oxygen evolution activity reaching over potential of 200 millivolt and the Tefli slope of 30 millivolt per decade at uh, 10 milliampere per centimeter square. Thank you very much for uh, your attention.